Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn about uh, binary search, right? So binary search using uh, functions. So first, let us know what is binary search. So binary search is nothing but uh, here in this you need to know uh, how to find out the middle value, right? So that is um, you will search the key by dividing the whole list into two parts, right? So first and then last and then you will find out the average of that one. That is nothing but you will try to find out the mid, mid value mid value of that particular list and that mid value is compared with the key value if suppose your key value is less than mid value then you will move towards left of the left side of the list if suppose your key value is greater than mid value then you will move towards right side of the list so again after moving either to left or right you will increment the, uh, if suppose you are moving towards your left side so left side means all the lesser values you'll have. So that time what you will do, you will decrement the last term by minus one, right? And then again, you will find out the uh, middle term that is first plus last by two. Again, you will try to compare. So again, you will check. So uh, when you are trying to divide those values, that is you are trying to divide the list, right? At the same time, you will try to compare the key value with that particular midterm and then you will do the search. So always you will move your first or uh, the last term either towards front or towards the back. If suppose you are moving towards right, that is key value is greater than uh, the mid value, then what you will do? The first one will be, uh, first uh, value will become what? Mid plus one, right? So mid plus one or last plus one if you would do. Oh, sorry, mid plus one, if you will do, then that one will be your first element, right? Mm -hmm. So that is what, what your left and then towards your right. Okay, so fine. So let us start the code. So as usual, we'll be starting with uh, with our uh, stdio.h, right? And then uh, int main. And then I'm taking few variables like C, first, last, middle, end, search, and some array values. And then I'm asking user to enter how many number of elements you want. One, I'm taking it into the variable N. And I'm asking user to enter those main number of elements so that I'm using for loop and I'm adding that into array of C. And also I'm asking user to enter <clears throat> into, uh, sorry, enter the key value so that uh, he will enter that key value and it will be stored into the search. And here is the actual logic. So first is equals to zero. That is zero at the element. And last is n minus one, right? And middle is first plus last by two so that you will get the middle value. Next, first is, e is less than or equals to last. That is if the value is less than or equals to last. And if array of middle is less than search, then what I'm doing, First is equals to middle plus one. That is, I'm moving towards right side. Else if array of middle is equals to search, that is the key value and uh, uh, the mid value is equal to say is equals to, then you will tell that the element is being found. Else what should I do? That is towards if you'll move towards right side, right? Else last is equals to middle minus one. I'm now I'm moving towards your left side. Right now, what I'm doing, middle is equals to first plus last by two again. And then what you are trying to do is you will try to compare if the first value is greater than last. That is, you had moved already towards left and you had did the comparison by finding out the mid values. If you didn't find that value, you will tell that for if first is greater than last, printf not found, present ID isn't present in the list to search, right? And then what is this search? Because I wanted to show that some particular number is not there. And that is what will be printed. And then return zero and then closing your main. So actually now here uh, they had asked us to write the code in non-recursive functions, right? So I'll make this one only into the functions. Uh, so simple int main. So here itself I will write uh, uh, simple binary uh it has my function semicolon and I, there i had int main so i'm just writing return semicolon and as i said they had asked us this in the form of function 
I'll make a function this one and uh, a flower bracket open and I don't need this flower bracket and then coming back here I need also to remove this return because I need no I had written already in the mail <clears throat> Right, just do the control S and hope we don't get any errors now. Let us once compile this code and we'll see once. Right, no errors and then simply run. I'm asking user to enter the elements where I'm giving five values 12, 23, 34, 45, 56. And I'm asking user to find um, uh, 56 right so 56 is found at location 5 so again if I wanted to find 12 23 45 67 78 right I wanted to find 12 yes 12 is found at particular location 1 so here what we are trying to do is you are giving the values, but the only condition what you need to follow in binary research is always you should give the values in ascending order only, right? That is you have to maintain some particular order that is either for descending or for the ascending. So if you uh, and according to the order of values you are giving, your program code will be changed. So in my code, I'm using first towards right and then left no so according to that modulation you need to check and then you should give your values if i give descend val descending values what should i do i need to reduce my last uh, uh, by mid minus one so here what did i did uh, mid my mid is equals to sorry if i if lesser values are there that is you need to change the condition that is if mid value is greater than uh, uh, sorry mid value is greater than mid term value is greater than first or the key value then you will you will try to move towards your left if you'll give descending order if you are giving ascending order always your left values will have lesser values and uh, right side values you will have the higher values right so this is what one small condition you need to remind uh, remember when you are trying to give that particular if else condition right so uh, that is i think i had given here while condition yeah so this while this while condition I need to check out if first is less than or equals to last then only I will be moving towards right or left. So this condition you need to change if you are trying to give the descending order simply you give first is greater than is greater than or equals to last right simple changes if you do then you will get even for the descending order right. So this is what the binary search program is and um, hope everyone are clear with this right so yeah that's all for this uh, video thank you all